This is July 2001, question 6a. We are being given S2 equal to n over 2 into bracket 2a plus n minus 1d, where the n is greater than 0. We should find the value of n if a is 3, d is 4, and then the s is 210. Now, from here, we've been given the s. What is the s? 210. So, 210. What is n? We don't know. That is what we want to find. What is our a? Our a is 3. What is our d? We're giving d to be equal to 4. From here, what do you do? Board mass, bracket first. So we have n over 2. 2 times 3, that is 6. Now, when we distribute, using the distributive property, I can get 4 and minus 4. And then we have 2, 1, 0. Now, this is n over 2. Now, 6 minus 4 plus 4n. 6 minus 4. We have 2, 1, 0. Now, what is 6 minus 4? 6 minus 4 is 2. So, we have n over 2. 2 plus 4n. 2, 1, 0. From here, what can I do? I can use the distributive property to multiply true. So clearly, I would have my 210 to be equal to n over 2 times 2 plus n over 2 times 4n. Now, this 2 will cancel that 2. 2 going to itself 1. 2 going to this, that is 2 times. Now, from here, what do we have? We have 210. Now, this is n plus 2n squared. Why 2n squared? 2n times n times n, that is n squared times 2, that is 2n squared. We want to find n. Clearly, we are getting a quadratic equation. And we know that quadratic equation should be of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. So we have to put it in this form. So what is the best way? The 210 has to move to the other side. So here clearly we have 2n squared plus n minus 210 equal to 0. Now this is, we've gotten to where we are supposed to factorize. Clearly this case 2 whereby the coefficient of the n square is 2. So you have to multiply these two times the constant term. That would be 410, 420. So two numbers, when you multiply, you can get negative 420. And when we add, we are going to get positive 1. What are these two values? Clearly, 21 times 20, negative 20, and then 21 plus, plus negative 20. So from here, we have 2n squared plus 21n minus 20n minus 210 equal to 0. Now, looking at the first two terms, n is common, so we factorize n out. 2n plus 21. The second two, we can see that negative 10 is common. So we have 2n plus 21 equal to 0. Clearly, 2n plus 21, 2n plus 21 is common. So we factorize it out. So you have 2n plus 21. Now, what is here? We have n minus 10 equal to 0. Two numbers multiply equal to 0. It means that from here, 2n plus 21 equal to 0, or n minus 10 equal to 0. So either the first one is equal to 0, or the second element is equal to 0. So we have 2n equal to negative 21. Our uh, n is negative 21 over 2. And then here, n will be equal to what? 10. Now, from the question, we are being told to find the n, where the n is greater than 0. It was a condition given to us. So what do you think would be our n? We have negative and then positive. Therefore, our n is 10. Since our n should be greater 
than zero. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure that you subscribe so that any new video we upload, you'll be able to get it so that you'll be able to prepare very well for your final exams. Don't forget, no pain, no gain. Okay, now let's see. This is SSC July 2002. Question number seven. One over U plus one over V equal to one over F and D equal to U plus V. I express D in terms of F and U. I, I find the value of D when F is six and D and U is 6.5. Now looking at the question, we have four variables, U, V, F, and D. But then what we are supposed to express, one variable is not in it, which is V. So what are they trying to tell us? We should eliminate the V. So how can you do this? One, either by making V the subject in each of the equation, and then you create those two equations, or you can make V the subject in one equation, and then you substitute it into the other so that you can eliminate the V. Clearly, let's see, we have one over U plus one over V equal to one over F. What is the LCM? Our LCM is UVF. So you have UVF times one over U. UVF times one over V. UVF times one over F. This U is canceling out that U. This V is canceling out that V. This F is canceling out that F. So from here, I have V F plus U F equal to U V. I want to make V the subject. So either I can take this to this side or bring this to that side. Let me take V F to this side. So I would have U F equal to U V minus V F. There's V here, there's V there. So I can factorize V out. So from here, I have my V out, U minus F. I have my U, F over there. Now, what is multiplying the V? U minus F, I want to make V the subject. So I have to divide both sides by the U minus F. So I would have U, F all over U minus F equal to V U minus F all over U minus F. So this is canceling out that. So you have our V to be equal to U F all over U minus F. Now what is the other equation? We know the other equation is D equal to, so let's call this one. D equal to U plus V. We want to make D the subject, we want to express D in terms of U and F. Clearly, we can put this into this. So let's call this two. You can say that put one into two. This implies our D is equal to U. What is our V? U, F, all over U minus F. Now, this is over one. What is the LCM? That is U minus F. Now, one will go into U minus F. That is U minus F times, times the numerator. So we have U, U minus F. Plus this is canceling out that we have U, F. And this is equal to U square minus U, F plus U, F all over U minus F. Now let's see, this is canceling out that. So from here, we are going to get our D to be equal to, D is equal to U square all over U minus F. So we have been able to express D in terms of U and F. Now, the second part is saying that we should find D when F is 6, U is 
what do you want to find d? So we know d to be equal to u square all over u minus f. Substituting u is 6.5, so you have 6.5 square all over 6.5 minus f, which is 6. And this will give us 84.5. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure that you subscribe for more videos to help you in your preparation towards your final exams.